I am studying the diversity, biogeography, evolution, and physiology of terrestrial breeding frogs to better understand why species live at different elevations and how they respond to environmental change in the Andes Amazon region of Peru. One of the main goals of the work we have been doing at Manu National Park is to survey known and previously unexplored areas in search of species, both amphibians and reptiles, determine their habitat preferences, and collect specimens and tissues for genetic analysis. The Manu poison frog is a species that was described from the National Park, originally found in the lowlands, and they live in the lowlands and also in the mountain forests. And their bright coloration is uh, supposed to um, advertise its toxicity to predators. Horned frog is a species that lives in the lowland rainforest and they uh, usually are found on the leaf litter. They create this small cavity where they are sitting. Sometimes they are sitting for days. They are called uh, sit and wait predators because they are just sitting waiting for something to walk by. And they have a very large mouth, like the mouth is almost half of the size of the, of the head or, or almost half of the body and they can eat anything, basically anything that fits into their mouth, like other frogs, spiders, uh, lots of insects, and once in a while, uh, other vertebrates. The glass frog um, is one of seven species of glass frogs living in Manu National Park, and this type of, uh, this group of frogs, they all breed in, along streams. They usually lay the eggs on top of leaves or in some species underneath the leaves that are hanging on top of streams and uh, usually one of the parents is protecting the eggs and when the eggs uh, hatch, the tadpoles drop into the water, into the streams, and they complete their tadpole development or larval development in the water. So they are usually strongly associated with streams. This frog is a type of leaf frog. There are six species of leaf frogs living in the lowlands of Manu National Park and its buffer zone. And all of these are nocturnally active, so they are active uh, only at night, likewise, uh, like the glass, glass frogs. Uh, this is a stream lizard, lizard, and stream lizards are, as the name says, uh, living uh, along streams. And this is a new species that is currently being described. It's only found in Manu Nas National Park. And one interesting thing is that they are uh, adapted to live in these relatively cool environments and they, once in a while, they get into the streams when they escape from any threat and they can remain underwater for a few minutes.